Okay, now here is our corn substrate um, that's been fully colonized by mycelium. And you can see how it's got kind of a white cotton candy look. Um, now this is after about two weeks and you can see it's totally covered. Now at this point what we're going to do is we're going to take this bag, we're going to mix it in with our bulk substrate and lay it in the tray. So hold on one second and we'll be right back. Okay, now at this point here what we did is we sprayed the tub down with alcohol first, 70% uh, isopropyl alcohol. And we put in the bulk substrate, which is this dark looking material here. Now that's a mix of uh, worm castings, gypsum, um, and a whole bunch of other uh, compounds that we use to make sure um, that the bulk substrate doesn't have enough energy to cause mold and bacteria to occur, but uh, enough to help the mycelium grow and do what's called a spawn run. So the next thing that we're going to do is take that bag that we talked about before, the corn bag that's filled with the substrate, and we're going to carefully cut it open. You can see I'm wearing gloves that I've sprayed down with alcohol. And we're going to open this bag up and we're going to dump it right in. Now ultimately what we're going to do is we're going to mix the two together, which is going to be a little tough to hold the video camcorder here and show you. But basically I'm going to take and mix the two together and then we're going to cover it with this plastic um, uh, this plastic dome here which we're going to keep closed to keep the CO2 levels high and then I add usually about uh, two cups of water between one and two cups of water just to uh, make sure that there's enough moisture in the setup so I'm going to uh, mix it together and then I'll flash forward to the next scene okay now at this point here you can see I took the corn and mixed it in at a very high ratio you could actually take the amount of substrate corn we give you and use about half of it so you could actually fill two of these trays up with bulk substrate if you really wanted. But we have a very high density just to make sure that we get uh, real quick uh, good growth and, and fast coverage. Now you can see I'm going to take the water and I'm just going to slowly add a little bit all along the tray. Just a little bit everywhere just to uh, keep the, the moisture and humidity up. You don't want to add so much that you're in standing water, but you want to add enough to uh, you know, keep the, the humidity levels very high. Um, so this is a real simple way to do it, and it's uh, fairly effective. Um, again, after we do this, we're going to just cover it with the humidity dome, and then we're going to let it sit at about a temperature of 82 to 85 degrees, keep it nice and warm, put it on that heat mat, and let it sit and uh, fully get covered over the next um, roughly week or two as far as the spawn run.